In today's video, you're gonna learn what causes gray hair and how to hack it. Hello and welcome everybody to my channel. My name is CJ and you're logged into Shift with CJ. And today, we're gonna talk about gray hair. In my personal opinion, going gray seems unavoidable as we age. And some people that I know embrace the color and show it off while some people use different kind of hair dyes to hide their grays. The reality is that after you hit 30, there's a 10 to 20% chance of your hair turning gray every decade that passes. In order for us to biohack this entire process, we have to understand what gives us gray hair in the first place. Our hair follicles have pigmentation named melanocytes, which give hair this color. When our bodies stop producing the compound called melanin, as we age, we start losing our hair color, which results in various shades of gray. One study from the Federation American Societies for Experimental Biology shows us that gray hair is caused by a massive buildup of the chemical called hydrogen peroxide. And this happens due to the wear and tear of our hair follicles. This chemical, hydrogen peroxide, also blocks the synthesis of melanin. So, what is hydrogen peroxide? Blondes use it all the time to change their hair color. Our bodies have a natural ability to break down this chemical called hydrogen peroxide by an enzyme called catalase. Catalase breaks hydrogen peroxide into water and oxygen. However, as we age, the body's ability to produce catalase reduces and this results in excess buildup of hydrogen peroxide and hence we get gray hair. Along with catalase, there is another enzyme called glutathione peroxidase 1 which is also one of our body's master antioxidants which can help prevent hydrogen peroxide. And of course, there are other factors that influence how fast you turn gray. These are based on your genetics and can be controlled by a certain clock named the melanogenetic clock. And it also depends on your ethnic background. Let's take a look at some lifestyle factors that affect gray hair. The first one is stress. It is often believed that stress causes gray hair. And in a 2011 study that came out of the Journal of Nature found that chronic stress activates the fight or flight mode. And the fight or flight mode can do a lot of damages such as DNA damage, accelerate aging, cancer, and can affect the genes that control hair pigmentation. Stress can also cause your hair to shed three times faster than normal. And there is a high possibility when all that hair that's gone comes back it doesn't come back in its original color. So stop stressing people, adopt stress relieving activities like yoga or meditation. The next one is smoking. Have you noticed that people who often smoke have gray hair? Why do you think that is? Well, you'd be happy to know that smokers are two and a half times more likely to have gray hair before 30 than non-smokers. So keep up the non-smoking. The next one is osteopenia. Have you heard about that term before? Osteopenia is a condition where people start losing their bone mass and bones as they age. Premature occurring with no other identifiable health risk can put people up to 4.4 times more likely to have osteopenia, according to a research published by the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism. Now that we better understand what causes gray hair, let's explore ways how to hack it. The first one is a chemical called PCKUS or PCKUS. What is that? Well, some researchers have found that UVB activated compound called PCKUS could help with reducing hydrogen peroxide buildup and gray hair. So where do you find PCKUS? It comes in a cream known as pseudo catalase cream, which is often used to treat vitiligo and can help mimic the effects of an enzyme called catalase in the body. Another way to increase catalase in your body is by increasing compounds rich in catalase. These are liver and organ meats. 
vegetables such as sweet potatoes, avocados, celery, broccoli and red cabbage and fruits such as pineapple, cherries, kiwis and apricots. The next one is addressing nutrient deficiency. Now, nutrient deficiency can play a big role when you're going gray. So here's a list of few micronutrients that will help you avoid gray hair. The first one is copper. Copper helps energy production and metabolism of iron, creating new blood cells and you can find it in almonds, lentils and mushrooms. The second one is iron itself. Iron helps create hemoglobin in the blood which is used to transport oxygen and nutrients in the body. You can get your iron from red meat, leafy greens and if you are a vegetarian, here's a quick tip for you. Add vitamin C rich foods to absorb more iron from your leafy greens. The next one is keratin. Keratin is a type of protein which can help the life of your hair follicles. The sad part is that you cannot consume keratin directly, so you have to have enough protein or amino acids which can convert into keratin. The next one is B vitamins. B vitamins play a major role in hair health and many other processes in the body. Focus on B5, B6, B9 and B12. Next one on the list is vitamin D. Vitamin D deficiencies has been linked to premature grain. To get more of vitamin D, go outside, get some sun, consume some eggs or some fatty fish. The next is zinc. What can zinc do? Zinc can help protect cells. It helps protect DNA and influences the ability to make proteins or any deficiency that impacts your hair health. To get more zinc, have oysters, red meat and beans. One other herb that I would love to recommend is ashwagandha. Ashwagandha is an Ayurvedic herb which can help protect against damage from hydrogen peroxide and help with grey hair. All those hacks were the ones that you could do from a scientific standpoint. However, science is still young and hasn't been able to completely understand the wisdom what our ancestors did. And you often see this wisdom in traditional practices such as Ayurveda and traditional Chinese medicine. So here are some of the ways the early biohackers were doing it over a thousand years ago. First one, massage your hair with coconut oil before bed at least for 30 minutes. The second one, massage your hair with ghee, which is clarified butter at least twice a week. The third one, massage a mix of almond oil, lemon and amla, which is the Indian gooseberry on your hair every day. Next is drink amla, which is again the Indian gooseberry juice every day. Eat three spoons of black sesame seeds three times per week. Add four tea, which comes out of Chinese medicine to your smoothies or tea. Drink carrot juice every day and eat a tablespoon of fresh ginger along with some raw honey. Eat a tablespoon of blackstrap molasses from sugarcane juice for at least three days per week. With that, we have come to the end of today's video. I hope you liked it and I hope you got to learn a few cool biohacks. Please share this on your socials as this helps me reach a larger audience and keeps me motivated to produce more content. And to learn more, you can visit my website which is www.shiftwithcj.com. Until next time, take care.